Uh, all right. So here we go. Uh, so one of the first things I have is redirect electrolyzers. So like I said, we've managed to suck all the gas out of here. You can see it is barely breathable pretty much across the entire base. Okay, there's basically nothing here. There is way more oxygen in this room than there is probably. Actually, the amount of oxygen in this one little room right here is probably equal to all the oxygen that's in this entire cavern, this entire chamber, um, which is bad. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on uh, the electrolyzers and redirect the electrolyzers in order to start pumping gas into the main base as kind of an emergency measure. Um, there's two places I'm going to do this. Um, one, I'm going to do it here. Now, this pipe is blocked only because I've taken this and I've, I've snipped it at the end here because it, originally it was pumping gas directly into the base, but the problem we ran into was that the gas was simply too hot. Uh, and so didn't really want to have like hot oxygen pumping into the base. Then the, then the base gets hotter and it just turns into a big old mess. But right now, I feel like we need oxygen more than we need, uh, uh, we need, if it's warm oxygen, I think we'll live. Because if there's no oxygen, we will not. So, I'm going to take this, and first thing I'm going to do is go and just basically just bridge this down like this. And we'll just start seeping in gas from here. Um, now it's it's gonna come out and it's probably gonna get kind of clogged through here So we might replace some of these tiles with uh, with with vented tiles just to kind of keep give it a little bit more flow uh, So it come out and it won't just get trapped in this little chamber But at the very least we could start that right now uh, Next thing is we have an electrolyzer here that's pumping gas uh, through this system, but I think uh, Let me see it is operating. I think there's some something wrong with this one. It's not getting enough water. Okay, so this is really not getting enough water, huh? Oh yeah, it's not getting enough water. So we need to get this thing more water, so that way we could take that gas comes out of here. Uh, it redirects into the uh, the cool room. It gets cool over there, and then it goes from there. Um, <clears throat> also, it's a support. It's it's this is also uh, you're creating a lot of uh, hydrogen for us as well. Uh, this chamber over here, which is once previously previously it was just jam packed with hydrogen and it was beautiful. It was getting cold and it was awesome. It's now basically empty. It's it's, it's borderline vacuum. Um, Natural gas storage room has a lot of oxygen in it too. Natural gas storage room. Uh, no, there's no oxygen in there. There's just natural gas and carbon dioxide. So there's nothing in there worth uh, worth grabbing. All this gray, this is all carbon dioxide. All the way down. Uh, and see this is like super dense. I was I actually, have, on one of my notes is actually oxyferns everywhere. I was looking at these oxyferns right here. They're not getting any water. And I was thinking, why don't I just go ahead and redirect some of this down here and just put a couple oxyferns right here. Uh, cut all this out. We could, we could salvage some of this algae. We could use that for something else and just have basically a row of... Um, of uh, 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 um, of oxyferns just cranking through some of this some of the shit here. Uh, do you know about the spawn? For no, I've seen the spawn thing. I don't know what it is. I haven't really looked into it. Uh, is is this one of those like heat delete? Thing? I don't know what it. Don't don't explain to me what it is. Uh, I'm on a roll right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the other th the issue we're having is that this machine's taking uh, taking hits right now because of carbon dioxide. So actually, we're going to go ahead and turn this one off. Our uh, uh, polluted oxygen is getting into the system, and it's going through. We didn't put a filter on it because it was the room was pretty much just vacuum sealed with just uh, hydrogen. But uh, but because because of the fact that we have more volume available in this room, uh, the polluted water and everything has been basically seeping polluted oxygen into the atmosphere uh, surrounding it. So, <sighs> uh, Proper size post-it notes. I'm going to open that up. Let me see. Oh, we're just going to do that. That's fine. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a giant easel pad. Okay, cool. Thank you. I, 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 li I like the sticky notes. For now, but maybe if they make them like if they make one that's like four of these, like kind of side by side or whatever, like in a grid, like in a four by four or two by two, that might be it. Anyways, let me see. Uh, so we're gonna disable this building here that way because this one is pulling in shit that we don't want. Uh, you can see there's some you know polluted oxygen in the in the line here. So that thing's gonna, that thing's gonna continue to take a little bit of damage here. We have lots of iron ore to fix it, so that's totally fine. Um, so this one is not hooked up to anything. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and bridge it and put it into the system here. So we're just gonna go ventilation, and then and I'm keeping it paused until we. Oh shit, that's kind of annoying. Can't really make it jump. Um, I don't want to dump this straight into the room because. Oh, this is oxygen, actually. So we can actually take that and feed it through. God, I would like to get it jump over here and go in through this way, but that's probably not going to happen. I think we just got to go ahead and just take it, just take the loss and just put it. Um, 
There we go. <clears throat> so that will just start right away, actually. And that will just start pumping gas. I, I, I wish I had a little bit more. Uh, you know what? Maybe what I could do is just create another diversion here to keep it, to get it cooler uh, at the last second here. Because I want, I need this oxygen to be nice and cool. So let me do this. This is probably going to hurt a little bit. Is it a snapshot? No, that's not what I wanted. Disconnect utilities. So let's go ahead and we'll disconnect these. No? Oops. Snip. There we go. And then we're going to go do some zigzag stuff here. So we'll go da, 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 down. Uh, mm, mm. This is radiant. Yes, it is. Okay. Just to give it a little bit more. And so, but that needs to be done like right away, though. We can't wait for that. <clears throat> All right. So that'll that'll get in. That'll get some uh, oxygen moving as well from there. So we have uh, three points of oxygen now. We have this guy over here, which needs more water. Uh, we'll get it, we'll get it more water uh, soon. But this thing is gonna start. Pump it. Here we go. So this is going to start pumping through this once this is done. Again, also. <clears throat> Should probably go ahead and replace some of that tile with, uh, just to keep it... It's so nice, little arbor tree and everything there. But whatever. That'll get done in two seconds. And that start flowing. Can't believe we got to the point where we just have no oxygen. It's crazy. Let me see. I think that's, uh, yeah, so, so far, oh yeah, it's, uh, just to kind of go over my list here. Um, see oxyphrens everywhere, reclaim metals, replace inner insulated uh, ring. Uh, oh yes, yes, this, so this is actually pumping, uh, <clears throat> I mean, you can see it's pumping uh, um, carbon dioxide into the base right here, and I want to take it out. So, uh, we'll just take it to space. I have no use for carbon dioxide right this second. Anytime soon, I should say. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. And we will kill this. There we go. And that's gonna get done. That'll get done fairly quickly too, because it's inside the base, and there's lots of people standing around the base not doing anything except for sleeping. All right, so we should see fairly quickly. I mean, you can already see actually some of the oxygen is already coming out of here. It's a kind of a deeper blue. Look at 1300. That's what we want to see over here. It's 400. Over here, it's 400, 300. Yeah. So once we get once we get uh, a good amount of oxygen flowing into the base <clears throat> from all the different outputs that we have, it's going to start pushing all the other gases to the far corners and it'll be a little bit easier to wrangle those. Like right now, there's a whole bunch of, I mean, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of these, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, carp there's a whole bunch of carbon dioxide pooled right here underneath in our little, uh, uh, little crawl space that we have. And it's not getting over to the carbon skimmer. So once we get a lot of oxygen here, we should, it should push it down. Um, and actually, I think I was wrong. I think I said yesterday that all gases go down to the right. Uh, I think it was down to the left. I can't remember, actually. Uh, it probably is easy just looking at where gas pools naturally everywhere else. I think it's down to the left. Yeah, I think I was backwards. Because even down here, it, I see it. Uh, that's why I have an opening over here. It's because it typically goes down to the left. So, yeah, this is going to take a lot of damage. This needs to be changed. This needs to be changed. There it goes. There it goes! Is that a Telene? Thank you so much for that sub, that Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. Buffy, remind me later. I'll change your name if you want. You want Buff Dash E? Is that it? That's a good one. This thing is taking hits. Why? Because of. <clears throat> Wolf for my empty pipe. Wolf for my to deliver. What's what's? Is something coming down the pipe that it's not supposed to? Hmm. It's not getting hardly enough water to do anything. So we need to we need to redirect some of this water. We have a bunch of water right here that's not really going anywhere. Maybe we should just have this water just constantly cycling on itself because Yeah. Let's build out a just a bridge to take some of this stuff and liquid splits a splitter. And I want it to merge a little bit more nicely. At uh at a Lanai. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. How'd you find me? How'd you find me? Uh, let's grab a, not a liquid bridge. Yeah, liquid bridge. Uh, and <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll take a split from this and we'll just bridge it right into this. Uh, there's a way to do this though. That's not like the way I'm doing. I'm trying to remember what it is. Who's that? Z-Meister! With too much streak! Thank you so much, Z-Meister. Appreciate it. YouTube to start. Ah, okay, cool, cool. Are you watching the VODs for this? The uh, VOD edits? 
Uh, let me see, what am I doing here? So I want to go in and out. So we'll go in into this. God, how do you, what's the pass through look like? Uh, let's just do it like this. And then we'll just connect it. All I'm doing is basically creating a temporary, um, redirect of some of this, uh, liquid. So that way we have a constant stream of liquid. We have a ton of liquid just basically buffered here. And the only, there's really no downside to doing this. Uh, actually I should have done it a long time ago. It'll just keep it, it'll keep the water cycling, uh, on itself. And cooling, actually. And it'll keep these pipes full. These pipes should just be full. Not always about for the live. Oh, cool. <clears throat> well, great. Yeah, it's like, what, 8 o'clock there right now, right? 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock? What time is it? Yeah, almost 10 o'clock. Depending on where you're at, right? Well, no, in the UK, so I think it's, yeah, it's like 10 o'clock. Or something. Somewhere around there. Uh-oh. Power is off to everything. What in the F happened? Oh, because of this. Because of this. Yeah. You know what? I was hoping they would actually get this done a little faster. Because <laughs> they didn't finish. There's no output for the uh, uh, for the carbon dioxide. Therefore, the natural gas generators cannot work. So half the base is working. Or you know, the base is separated on some diff different circuits. So some of them still have battery power. Other ones do not. But they has Corey working right there, right? Donis. Yep. So Donis is working. Doing some stuff. Uh, this will get done pretty quickly. And it'll be fine. They starting to move a little bit already. Just basically every time they every time they complete a pipe, it'll it'll move down the line. It'll move down the line. <clears throat> Water backing up. Uh, okay, yeah. So this is this is where I need to change the way this goes. This needs to go, and then we'll go up and in. Come on, why you do this? Just lay a pipe. Then we'll go. I think we go like this. And that's how it goes. Can't remember. Uh, there's a, there's a way to bridge these things together so that way it'll constantly feed itself, um, and it'll merge uh, better. But I don't remember. But this is good as long as as long as something is running to keep that water from backing up. And really, it's not too big of a deal if it backs up. All it's gonna happen is, uh, well, actually nothing. The clean. Well, I guess the dirty water will back up here. So this would be a problem eventually. But this is such a small amount. I don't think it'll be a problem, but I guess we'll find out. We'll see. We'll see. That is salt water. How did salt water get into this mix? I'm finding salt water all over the place. Look at salt water, salt water. I don't remember. I must have set something incorrectly because salt water is getting on everything. Yeah, there you go. They're getting on it. Good. Let's see if that helps the flow a little bit. Let me take this sticky note and put it right here, because we're going to start crossing things off. Redirect electrolyzers. Oh, that's going the wrong way. <laughs> Son of a bitch. God. Well, that's, like, really annoying. I just wanted to go into this mix here. Sticky notes. <laughs> into the is it into the inlet? I remember there's some like weird like setup you have to have in order to make it go in it in. So I should go like here or should go directly in? Probably directly in. Let's try that first. I guess we have nothing to lose. Uh let's see, just the good pipes. Good. Get that done. <laughs> we got time for y'all mess around. Get in here. This thing's taking damage here because of the because of all the salt water that's falling on the ground here. So that salt water is coming from one of the pipes. Oh, I think I know what happened. Who's starving and why? Biffy. She's fine. There, now she's gonna get food. There we go, that's what I want to see. Taking turns. Oh, salt water got in the mix. Son of a bitch. All right, so repairs are gonna be coming all over the place. Uh, but hey, we have oxygen all over as well. Uh, oh, there's a mess in here too, which sucks. But it's fine. They'll go in there and they'll fix it if they need to. Do they even go in there? Oh, they do actually, good. Good. Alright, so we have oxygen, uh, pumping. Whoa. Oh, cause there was, uh... Yeah. Hi. Uh, what's fine, whatever. It's just gonna get pumped out into space eventually. So yeah, because, because we let things kinda go to shit, uh, we have a ton of gas that is, uh, just kinda spread out. So we're gonna get cases of, you know, um... Carbon dioxide mixed in with uh, with oxygen and all that stuff. Uh, is this even like take a look at this? this is like not. I feel like we're sucking all the life out of this poor ATM. It's not cooling as quickly as it should. 
I mean, like, it's coming out at 80 degrees. Uh, and then it's exiting at... Oh, it's, it's getting there, it's getting there. I think maybe the first few pumps was just a little, uh... I don't know. I don't know. But what I want to do is up here... <clears throat> I know this is a bad idea because we're going to end up killing this, this biome eventually. Uh, the gas goes through here and it actually cools down quite a bit. And it actually warms up as it goes down through here. So, like, the gas comes out of this thing at what? This is 17 degrees. Like, oxygen at 17 degrees? Perfect. Just pump that into the base, it'll equalize, it'll be fine. Uh, but then once we get down here, like, to this point here, now we're looking at 50 degrees. So, <clears throat> because this room is not really, uh... It's not really cooling as quick as we can. I wonder if I should take and redo. I mean, look at this. this is like green. Oh my god, it's so warm in here. Um, I'm thinking I should probably insulate those lines because look, they're just putting out heat. Insulate those lines. Let it come up here and, and you know, it's, let it you know do a little bit of work to this area and probably you know kill off some of this. Um, but at the very least, we get it cool, right? But look how look how hot it is. Holy crap! Yeah, we should definitely cover some of this up in, uh, in insulated. That sucks. I wish you could just click on a line to say, replace that with insulated. And it's just, just done. I, I don't think that this really needs to have radiant. Actually, I think it's a bad idea that it has radiant. So let me go ahead and raise this up. Nine. Control heat for controls. Yeah, control everything. Okay. And then... I guess around there is fine. Uh, the gas going in, <clears throat> I think it also is. Let me see, what is it coming in at? If it's losing temp, let me see, 107 degrees. So it's coming in pretty hot then. 120 degrees, yeah. Uh, it instantly drops to. It instantly drops like what, 30 ish degrees or so. <clears throat> and then when it comes over here, it's actually getting cooler. Okay, cool. So it is. It is actually cooling as it's going up. It's just warming up as it's coming down because it's so cold in this chamber over here. It's all hydrogen here, so I was hoping that, you know, we could keep this temperature. Uh, I locked this hydrogen in here a long time ago, so I was hoping that it would keep the temperature there pretty low. And it is. It's just we're pumping in, you know, hot gas right now. <clears throat> they will, uh, yeah, they're working on it right now. Coming over and replacing all these pipes. I think once that insulated gas pipe goes in, then we'll start to see a significant drop in temperature over the course of several cycles, but we will see a significant drop in temperature going into the base. Um, really need to pump more hydrogen in here. I wonder if we should... Oh, you know what? Let's do this. This is all cold... Oh, yeah, let's do this. This is all cold oxygen or hydrogen here. Let's snip. Snip, snip. Then, let's take... And this should also be... Um, uh, insulated too, I think, because I don't think it's pretty. It's pretty warm in here. Yeah, yeah, we should insulate that. Should just use insulated everywhere, man. Everywhere except for the points where you absolutely need to exchange energy. So let's see. We're gonna take this output, and we're just gonna put this. Do 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 do. Boop. What is the priority on that? Nine's good. That will dump all of this hydrogen out into this area here. <clears throat> Um, probably not terribly efficiently. Let me see, it'll go, uh, let's see, up and over, and it'll go right into this one vent. God, I wish I had, like, just, just, just one piece of plastic so I can make one goddamn high-pressure vent. I have zero plastic. I should just make a damn polymer press and just, oh man, she's taking damage. And just take care of the damn thing. Oxygen's getting into the base, which is great. Let's see, is, this, is there oxalite in here? <laughs> a Volpup. Ah, oh, Pufflet. Let's get that. So we are getting oxygen. It's breathable now, which is awesome. Uh, it is coming out through here. It's actually not backing up here. Does that mean that it's not pumping gas? It is pumping gas. And gas is coming from everywhere else, too. Fantastic. So this is... Okay, so this is not getting a ton of water here. Okay, yeah, so our water supply is coming from this is a little bit low, but that's... It's fine because things are working. <sighs> that's what matters. Things are working. We're not at, we're not in the in the in the green yet though. Let me see. Water's coming up very slowly. Oh, okay, it's picking up shit water. Yeah, that's not cool. Uh, and then it's not coming out because it's getting backed up here. It needs to go through here. Yeah, it's a little bit slower. Maybe I should raise that up. Where's this water pump coming from? 
Okay, so let's clean water through there. Ah, uh, okay. So right now, because it's dirty water, I think we should probably go and open up this valve a little bit more just to let some more of that clean water through. So let's go ahead and make this, um, let's make this a thousand. That'll help. And someone will come down here and they'll change that in a second. We'll make that a nine. Just two, takes two seconds to go through and do that. There it is. Done. Okay, so now we should see larger globules coming through there. The water save will be able to crank through more of this uh, dirty water. And then, yeah, we'll go. Woo! Yeah, you can't you can't change it. Only admins I think could change it. That was a conscious decision, preemptive uh, preemptive decision. We knew we, we knew that if we uh, if we allowed everyone to change their names, it would just be shenanigans all over the place. So <laughs> we knew better. Everything a nine? No. <laughs> It's so peaceful from this distance, right? Music is nice. This is nice. Then you get in close. Just a mess, an absolute mess. They're still loading things into here. It's super hot down there, he's saying. Uh, and it is, uh, temperature place, 100, hold on, temperature place not that hot. 102 degrees, that's not hot. Why is he bitching? Oh, what's Jen say? Are you gonna pick up or I, should, I still, I'll get him. So I'm gonna leave about probably 10 minutes early today uh, because I'm gonna go pick up Declan and Declan and I are gonna go to uh, uh, to the arcade. There's a Dave and Buster's at uh, one of the malls. And uh, I don't know if you know, if you don't know what Dave and Buster's is, it's basically like Chuck E. Cheese but for adults. Uh, just tons of big ass arcade, tons and tons of, uh, of games and everything. And so, <clears throat> and Galaga, he loves Galaga. He loves all those like retro games and shit. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably go in there and do that later. I'm actually gonna let this pull and not waste this energy here. And actually, let me see, disable that. Oh, I was to, damn, I was supposed to disable all the pumps too. Yeah, those are two things I was supposed to do a long time ago. Do that one too, you're already here, you're already here. Do that one too. <sighs> damn it. Okay, someone else is gonna come down and do it. <laughs> Jen, Jen, so, uh, Jen's looking forward to having a little bit of alone time. A long, a long time ago, uh, Jen told me, and I know it still stands true, like she never really has alone time, you know? Like she never really has an opportunity just to be alone uh, in the house. Uh, I do because I'm here all the time. And so of course I'm always alone. Uh, but you know, if she's here, then, you know, either I'm here or Declan's here or both. So she really has like a long time in the house. And I understand, you know, when, you know, when, when everybody leaves, I like to run around the house and just put my balls and everything and all that stuff. And you just can't do that when the kid's there. You can't do that. When the wife's there, you can't do that. So maybe she wants to do the same thing. Um, so yeah, she's looking forward to coming home and just relaxing and Declan and I are going to go to the arcade and just have a blast and just play video games and eat junk food and all that good stuff. All right, so we see the hydrogen is pouring in, which is exactly what we wanted. We still don't have all of the insulation. Okay, there you go. They're working on it. Yeah, so we just still have insulation everywhere. We are getting some uh, some gas issues here. It's getting overpressurized. Uh, that might be a good thing. Maybe. Uh, as long as, as long as air, as long as these pipes still have gases flowing through them, uh, we're good. Yeah, this is great. So it's going to basically come through. Now, this is going to eventually get backed up for sure. Uh, we do want to continue processing gas. Just let it basically continue to like run through this this system that we have here of cooling and then dumping back in and then cooling and then dumping back in. This is all self-sustained because some of this gas gets uh, um, gets requisitioned for running the hydrogen generator. The hydrogen generator powers the uh, two uh, thermoregulators. The thermoregulators cool down the gases by an additional like 40 degrees or something like that. And so all this runs on a perfect loop all by itself. You can see here by the power that this is the grid we're looking at. It's just by itself. It's just not not attached to anything. Um, and so it's a perfect standalone system. The way I like to do things. Instead of having one gigantic circuit and everything's running off one circuit, I like to have these little ice, like siloed, isolated things that just kind of run on their own. Uh, yeah, get, get that insulated pipe in. This is good. Don't you have a little plastic? I don't think I have any plastic. Let me see. Industrial ingredient? Is that what it is? No, what is it? Um... What the what is that under actually? Metal ore. Well, actually, we we'll probably just look at the damn thing. Let's see ventilation, and then high pressure vents. Plastic has yet to be discovered. I think it's probably just an issue of let's just get a polymer press and just run it real quick, right? Because they get really hot really fast, and I don't have a method of cooling it right now. Um, definitely nowhere in the foreseeable future. <laughs> uh, 
I can't even cool my old face. Um, but, I, but I think getting in and just running it for a minute might be okay. Let's try it. Let me see. We'll probably just set it down here, actually. Let's see. Uh, furniture, medicine, refinement. Refinement, right? Is it in there? Plastics. There, the polymer press. It takes petroleum, which I have all down here, actually. So I think down here is where we'll put it. What's the temperature down here? 120 degrees. <laughs> it's already so hot down here. This is a great idea. <laughs> you can call me out like that, man. Uh, let's go ahead and throw. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a shit show. Uh, there's no way this is gonna work uh, for any amount of time that has any uh, launcher value. This is gonna. This is gonna hurt. So we'll go ahead and take this. We'll run it down here. Maybe we're gonna go take the uh, refinement polymer press. Put that there. Attach that wire. Good. Uh, it needs other stuff too. It needs uh, petroleum and an output. I guess is, is that a carbon dioxide output or something? What is the byproduct of this? I'm sure it's like carbon dioxide or something. We'll just take that and just dump it into this. Ooh, can we though? It's pretty packed in here. We can always create more space by just digging holes. That's what we'll do. Can give a little glossy Dreco the trim for plastic, a little heat, at little heat. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, hover the, oh, does it tell you on the little, hover over the thing, no. Maybe when it's built, you could do that. Uh, let me see, ventilation. And we'll just take just regular gas pipe. Boop. Like I said, this is a temporary fix. We just want to get a little bit of plastic, that's it. If it blows up, whatever. Let me see. We gotta get liquid in, so it's basically petroleum right here, so this is gonna be easy. Look at pipe. And then, uh, yep, out. We'll go straight down. There we go. So the perfect little, uh, setup here. Oh, the pause, man. Pause is rough. I gotta get that asynchronous, whatever, mod to stop it from pausing. We have a ton of petroleum. I had a couple of dupes down here just chilling, just uh, just make a petroleum for like, you know, 10, 15 cycles, and it was great. Pretty sure it's CO2, but we're gonna find out. Actually, now we could probably, does this tell you over here? No, it doesn't, but it tells you, I think, when you click on it. Um, overheat temperature, nope, it does not tell you there. Properties, nope, energy, nope. Convert petroleum to raw plastic. I <laughs> immediately just jams up. What's in the what's in the line here? Contents, carbon dioxide. Ta-da! <laughs> there you go. Now! Except for this, it'll just stay like a five or something. It's gonna run by itself. That's gonna completely pack up this room, but there's still room. There's still enough room here for a little bit more, I think. When you select it from the build menu, no, it doesn't do that either. Not the last, not last I checked. Let me uh let me open it up now, but I'm fairly certain it does not. Let me see. Uh stations. And then we'll go, no, 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 we're fine. No polymer press, does it tell you here? Oh, it does tell you right there, there it is. Effects, carbon dioxide, oh, nice, good. I swear not everything tells you, man, I swear that there's like, it, it, that's not always the case. Ah, overheat damage, already overheat damage, just give me one brick, bam, there it is, plastic! Our first plastic, can we make one airflow tile? Not yet, one more pump, one more pump, ooh! Go, 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 go! Done. There it is. There it is. Okay, go stop it now before it, before it blows up. <laughs> before it melts down. Hurry, 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 hurry. Uh, it's gold amalgam too. Holy crap. Why, by the way? I, I turn off those damn notifications so often and they just keep resetting themselves, man. Give me a break. Not those ones. The, those ones, the resubs. I leave those ones on all night. Thank you so much, Super Soup, for that. Oh, I'm zooming out. I'm zooming out here because I'm trying to scroll down the, the thing over there. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to scroll down the, the chat window over here so I can see what you guys are talking about. Um, Super Soup, thank you so much. What up, baby? All right, so there we have plastic. 
We have plastic. Let's, let's... Oh, God, I hate to put it in this room, but... I feel like we kind of need to do it. Let me see. I have 60. This one's getting full, but that's fine because this one's this one's hot air anyway. So I honestly I probably want to shut that off once we get to a certain point. Um, because that's all it's gonna do is pumping hot air. And actually we're getting pretty good now. Let's go ahead and uh we'll just stop this. We'll deconstruct it. Choose a blueprint. What are we gonna get? Lime. Sure. Nah, boots are good. You're just cooking, man. You're just you're just a cook. What a pilot guy. Try to poop sounds. It's not not what it sounded like at all. Uh, let's deconstruct this. Uh, we will we will just jam pack this area with hydrogen. Um, yeah, we'll we'll just jam pack this room with hydrogen using the uh, the vent. High pressure vent. It it's it's kind of a it's kind of a dumb way to do it because all it's gonna happen is we're going to. Uh, it's gonna be harder to cool because it's so dense, but I'd rather have the flow and have the electrolyzers and everything work until I have a better solution later. But for right now, it's fine. What's the problem with one of the showers? Oh god. Oh, probably just dirty water. I bet dirty water. Oh, uh, salt water I bet got into the system again. Yeah, so salt water got in. Uh, I can see some right here, actually. I don't have a filter for it because I didn't have salt water anywhere. Uh, but I took this. This is where it started. I took this bottle emptier yesterday and I built it. Uh, and I just checked all. And I wasn't thinking about what all could mean. All means crude oil, salt water, water, and polluted water. And so I caught this when I loaded the save today because I was like, why is there all this stuff? I'm expecting everything and making a list and so I decided to turn that off. So, <laughs> PJ <song. laughs> uh, Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it was a mistake that has is now going to have lasting ramifications because you can see there's another puddle right here of, uh, of salt water mixed in with this, which is great. Uh, I think I could probably take this out pretty easily though, but not really. No, no, I can't. No, I can't. Who is that? Who is that? Hold up. Ah, ah, is that Top? My fucking Top. He says, Top says, Leet, yeet, skeet, neat, beat, teet. Thank you, Top. <laughs> that little Dr. Seuss action there. Uh, yeah, so salt water is in everything, and it's just, and because it's so widespread through, through everything in the base, or all the pipes, because I didn't catch it initially, uh, we, I think we have to just kind of let it run. It's just run just run through the, the, the motions and let it do its thing. There's not a whole lot we could do. Um, faster. So here we go. So this area is now getting pretty packed, and now that I, ha now that I have the uh, high-pressure gas vent, uh, it's gonna have absolutely no problem whatsoever packing this entire room just with tons and tons and tons and tons of hydrogen. Uh, and what we can do, what we can do, because gas goes down to the left, not down to the right, like I said yesterday, and I apologize for that. Uh, what we can do is uh, go through and uh, just open this up for a minute, and it'll just shove. Once this room gets like super pressurized, it'll just shove all of that, all of this uh, uh, polluted oxygen that's resting at the bottom, it'll just shove it straight out the bottom. And that goes out into uh, into space. There's a little bit of gap, little gap here for uh, for a vacuum for space. So it'll just disappear. Yeah, and it will be gone. So I'm curious though. Like, it, yeah, it's 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 just not going to. Uh, we're not going to get a lot of uh, like this. This room is not going to cool that quickly, especially if we pack it full of. Uh, of hydrogen, but at the very least we could keep this stuff running. That's what I want. I want these uh, these thermal regulators to continue to run, just run, run, run nonstop, and just continue to cool and cycle that hydrogen into this space. And that, and eventually we will, uh, um, the room will get cool. It's just gonna take longer because we're using, you know, just because we're packing it so full of hydrogen, it's so dense, there's so much mass in here. Uh, and oh, they're just now finishing the uh, the gas over here, which is awesome, uh, or the uh, the the uh, insulated pipes. So it goes in, and before we were losing like 40 degrees coming out of this room, right? So uh, now it's coming out at four or five degrees, eight degrees, let's say eight degrees average, something like that. It kind of fluctuates wildly, but like eight degrees average. And now it's hitting over here at uh, 
31, 33, 27, 31, 20. So we're still losing some, which actually that's kind of interesting. I wonder we're losing some. Is it really just right here? Let me see. Oh yeah, wow. It's almost like it's dropping. It's 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 going up immediately. Look at it. It's it's, it's like zero. Oh, uh, well, it's all over the place over here too. I you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Um I made it to an only stream. Yeah, you were here yesterday, dude. Uh, this is oh yeah, that's the old, just another vent that's just not gonna make it. All right, so yeah, the the polymer press basically took a shit like immediately. So this is only gonna run in very very short bursts. Um, in order to make because we're basically gonna be exchanging gold for. Uh, for the, uh, for plastic. Actually, wait, we have a lot of iron. There's a bunch of iron just laying on the ground right here. What is the, uh, the temperature, the melting temperature of iron? Oh, there's no, there's no actual, uh, benefit to running iron. Okay. Well, noted. So gold is our best bet, and we have 10,000 of it, thankfully, so... 35 that yeah yeah so 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 like i said a lot <laughs> so yeah it doesn't it doesn't last very long at all oh it's a little it's a little upsetting but yeah that's why you have to you have to create you have to create an environment that can support that all right let me look at my list here real quick let me see okay so we're almost like, almost done emptying out all of this and we'll read we'll recreate this loop uh so it makes a little bit more sense because right now it's just basically dumping and i still want to store it but you know i would like like it to get cool and then store maybe if i create another loop and have it uh, come through here, or have it attached to this right here, maybe. And then that will go through there. Oh, that's where I should put the plastic. We should merge these groups and make one, just one um, high pressure gas vent will support all of these hydrogen, all this hydrogen flow. But let's get all that stuff out of there. And at the very least, once this is empty, this will keep this cycle here, this loop of going, you know, into this, into this chamber, coming out of the the, the gas pump, uh, going into this uh, this pipe, getting, you know, running the hydrogen generator, getting cooled, and going back in. At least it'll keep that as a perfect loop with no other side quests. Let me see. So redirecting electrolyzers, uh, uh, a little, uh, redirecting electrolyzers is done. Fat marker. Redirecting electrolyzers. So, bam. Check. That was a terrible check. I fucked up a check somehow. Uh, let's see. Reclaim metals. Replace inner insulator thing. No. Reverse hydrogen tanks. We've done that already. Great. Uh, let's see. Disable bottom gas pumps. We've done that. Insulate across the bottom. We have not done that yet. Uh, redirect natty gens to output to space. We've done that. Cool basement with... Oh, with electrolyzers. Oh, okay. So I, I guess I'm, I guess my idea is to fill the uh, the lower um, basement area with hydrogen. I completed a bunch of tasks on a sticky note. These are very realistic and emergency tasks, though. So if, I don't know if I really should take credit for that. <laughs> like these had to happen, otherwise we were uh, up shit's creek. But yeah, it's working. Let me see. What do we got here? So it's coming out of here at... Uh, it's all over the place. Yeah, the temperature's all over the place. As long as we don't break this area immediately. I know it's going to eventually break. Uh, but, yeah. You're down with a cool basement? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool basement would help a lot. So this is all going to, you know, take... It's going to take a while, but it's already at 43 degrees, actually. So it's actually cooling pretty quickly. Uh, up here in the corner, it's at 70. So we're almost actually back to where we were before, except for we're just dealing with a whole lot more gas per mass, right? Or per brick. Uh, but look at that, though. It's I think maybe because it's coming out and it's immediately, you know, touching the... the, the it, occupying the space around the AATN, that it's, uh, it's dropping significantly in temperature. Because, yeah, it's coming out and it's just... It's just maintaining that cool. Maintaining that cool. But what I should do is now that this room is basically max pressure, I should go ahead and open this door. And actually, since somebody's there right now, let's go ahead and tell them to open this door right now. Open. Try it again. And then what we'll see is we should see all of this polluted oxygen just very slowly get dumped out. We probably can't visually see it, I don't think. But it's gonna be some hydrogen that's gonna escape as well. As long as we get some of that... I like the room to be as sealed as possible. We'll lose a little bit of hydrogen, but we have tons. 
Yeah, like this little wad right here. There it is. Slow, it's slow. You can see it slowly slinking its way over. There we go. This bit over here, over here may not go anywhere, but whatever, it's fine. Is that salt water there too? It is. Wow, salt water is getting everywhere. All right, that's pretty. Th that's pretty thinned out. There's some over here still, but that's pretty thinned out, I think. So go ahead and uh, auto. So we'll come over here and take care of that. Zoom, Navy Devil, zoom in. Done. Okay, cool. These things are not gonna e emit anything because there's just not enough. Uh, well, there's just not enough. Uh, there's too much pressure in the room for them to uh, to do anything. So I'll just set those things to. That's not unreachable, is it? Oh, it is, huh? Well. Wow. Whoop! Oh, dang it. Scroll lock. Moved on to the other monitor. Okay, cool. So this room is good for now. We can leave this one alone. We'll come back and check on it later. That's perfect. That's, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, 500, 500 grams. So it's coming out. Okay, so it's coming out at, at 500 grams per, per pump. So that is... Uh, so that's good. I mean, that's probably one of the reasons why it's cooling so quickly, because it's not coming out at, you know, what is it, 2,000, whatever the max, 10,000, whatever the max is for the, uh, per brick. Uh, some, some issue right there for aluminum ore. I don't have any aluminum ore, so it's gonna be broken for a little bit. This room down here, the ideal setup for this room is that all of this carbon dioxide is basically just gone, um, and replaced with hydrogen. The cold room will lose pressure because it takes hydrogen to produce electricity. Yes, but it's also being fed hydrogen uh, as well. Now, I don't know what the exact like usage to, you know, whatever the exchange is there, right? But we are we are actually, you know, creating hydrogen in that space. What is that? Oh, that's hydrogen. Whoa, damn. That's a ton of hydrogen in that tiny little space. <laughs> The P9 Wars. That's <laughs> that's what's happening here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. We can now, I think, I feel safe now. We could go ahead and continue pumping gas out. I think we pretty much resolved. Yeah, look at this. We have breathable oxygen everywhere. Done. Done. We go ahead and turn this one off. Save that for emergencies only. Let's go ahead and see what we have for here. Please don't wheeze wart or something like that. Pufflet, I'll take it. This room's just full of pufflets and look at that. Pufflets and, uh, and pips. <laughs> Well, good. They can stay trapped there. We'll eventually get around to uh, wrangle, wrangling them and doing something with them. But for now, this is good. <sighs> okay. So, on my list, I have a couple of things. These are, like, projects that need to get done. So, first, oxiferns everywhere. Um, there is some place we can put oxiferns that would probably help. Let me see. I was thinking of stuffing a bunch right here. Just using like aquatic or something like that and just have it just uh, or maybe like a drain or something to slowly trickle into the uh, into a couple that are just sitting right here. But I have to also go through and, and dig all this stuff out. So I wonder if well, we can actually look. There's a ladder right there. If they can reach. Can they reach this? Yes, they can. Okay. Let's do this. Go ahead and get started. I should not do that one yet. they will cut all that up. I'll come check that in a minute. Buffy. So slow. Buffy's so slow. Hold on a second. Let me see if we give Buffy some like proper suit suit skills or something let me see uh proof strength no what is it is there any first tier ones that helps them with this i don't think so it's exosuit wearing maybe oh athletics carrying strength trav boom trav thank you so much for them two months much appreciated how's slime lung eh, it's manageable i don't even look at it it's not even a threat i'll look at it in a second though <laughs> Uh, so she wants approved strength for tidying. They receive a morale bonus from earning it. Let's go and keep Buffy happy. Plumbing. Oh, she's interested in plumbing. Oh, wow. Buffy's... Or Biffy. Sorry. It's going to be the uh, the plumber. Sure. Sure. Maybe we should actually make it so Buffy can't use the suits. You know? Can I... Uh, clearance. Vacancy. How do I make it so she can't use the suits? I forget. Oh, yeah. The gate. The door here. So let's see. Buffy. Uh, Chaos can't go in. Buffy. Sorry. No suits for you. There we go. We don't need people that can't that, that take forever to uh, to get to wherever their point is uh, to be wearing suits. There we go. What is this pipe goat? This pipe goes to 
Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's not gonna get anything ever. So. Oh, hat. Yeah, I see the hat. I see hat. Where's my hat? Plumbing. <laughs> She's got plumber's hat now. You gotta love that. My natural gas is. I'm. I'm stocked on natural gas. If if I could if I could find more places to squeeze in some more natural gas generators, I would never have to worry about gas or uh, electricity ever again. But that's no fun. <laughs> that's no fun. That's cheating. Pop tart. This is good. We have no carbon dioxide just like randomly leaking into the space down here. Hydrogen starting to build up. Fair amount of hydrogen starting to build up from this one electrolyzer down here. Pop tarts are the best. This is the mini pop tarts too. I don't know if you guys, I've, I've showed you guys this before, but they, uh, oh, well, I messed up and I opened the package upside down. So just, just, uh, yeah. So pop tarts bites. They're so good. They're so good. Yeah. It's basically a little package that has, a whole bunch of like little mini pop tarts. You can't really like um you can't toast them or anything. Or I haven't tried anyways. But uh <laughs> but they're so really good, man. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the sooner this room gets full of uh oh look at all this carbon dioxide is built up in the corner here. I wonder if we should I feel like this whole room needs to move. Um, and then, oh! <gasps> okay, 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 okay. This room needs to be repurposed as the, uh, the suit, the suit up room. Because then when I do that, then they could go down here and they could trudge around and they could just work their little hearts out and not have to worry about breathing. Um, the biggest problem I think is happening right now is they're going and they're working, but then they're holding their breath the entire time. Look at them. All of them holding their breath, holding breath, holding breath, holding breath. And so if I move the suits up in here and and then lock this door off here, we could basically we could seal this right here with all insulated. And we'll kill this uh, carbon skimmer here. We'll, we'll, all we'll do is we'll just put like a couple of uh, oxyferns around and that should control the carbon dioxide. The only carbon dioxide output we have going on inside of the main base area is, uh, I think this, the dupes. I, yeah, I don't think there's anything else creating any, any, uh, any carbon dioxide anywhere. So that's why it's easy to take care of, and the, and the, the carbon skimmer just barely gets any work done because there's nothing really for it to do. So, carbon skimmer, maybe overkill. Instead, let's try to use, uh, oxyferns. But we're gonna have to take this whole room and move it up. 